let's do a bit more of a practical example of something that I've used a lot of times with matrix math and um, something where I've kind of struggled to do before and I found matrix math to be a really nice and clean solution for this. So let's say that we have this joint and we want to zero out all the joint rotations on it. Oh, sorry, the joint orient. But we want to make sure that the rotation of how the joint is is still the same in like the kind of the movement, the place that it has in the world. So we need to be able to zero out these joint orients, but update with new rotation values so that we still keep the same kind of world space transition. Now, there's probably like a bunch of um, things you can do to like plus these together, like figure out something. But in terms of doing this, I've figured out the easiest way to do this is just to take a step back and think what you really want here. Well, what we really want is this to kind of keep its world space placement. So what we can do is we can literally just figure out the world space matrix for this guy. And if we then get the world space matrix inverse of this, we can just multiply those two together and that will supply us with the rotation values that we need to rotate this um, joint. And then we can just zero out the joint orients. We don't have to worry about calculating anything with these. If we just think of it as in a world space and putting this here, um, it allows the, us to do this very, very easily. So in what this is quite nice is that because we're thinking in terms of matrices, we can start to like really build this up as well. If we want to go the other way, you know, we, we could just do that. We could, um, instead of zeroing out the joint orients, we could um, zero out the rotation and set in this world space value on the joint orient. Or if we had a specific value for the joint orient, I would probably just like... Uh, construct a matrix for these join orient values and make sure that I include that in the calculation as well so that you'd figure out your um, so that you could you could zero out all your rotations but you could specify a joint orient um, but first off <laughs> let's stop uh, with the uh, with the theoretical and let's look at how we can do this right so I would first import the maya.api.openMaya as om. Oh. And I need to import math as well because we're because we're going to be using the transformation matrix. We need to uh, convert our rotations from radians to degrees, so we will need that as well. I'm just going to be keeping this elbow object uh, just for safekeeping. And we're going to be getting the parent of that, which will just be uh, list relatives of the elbow. And we want to get the parent equal true. And that will be the first object. Now we need to get the world space matrix for the elbow. So I'm going to just get the matrix and using the commands X form and just passing it directly into an M matrix. Elbow, we want to query it. And we want to make sure that we get this in world space and we want to get a matrix true. Let's just make sure that we have all this so far and I'll just copy this and I'll just say this is the parent and the parent and that's all working as well. So what we just have to do now is to get the local rotation values in the space, right? As I mentioned, let's just see, call that elbow local matrix. We basically have to take the world space matrix for this elbow and we have to multiply that by the inverse of this basically removing the translation and uh, rotations and all those values that this has on this object basically leaving us with the local values so if we do elbow world space matrix times 
Oh, parent world space matrix dot inverse. We will now have gotten our new matrix. And if we just get our transformation matrix as well from this, OMM transformation matrix, because we want to be able to like easily extract that data that we just calculated, we want to use the transformation matrix because it's just a lot easier to do that. So elbow local matrix, let's make sure that all works. That's all working nicely. So to get out the rotation, we need to first get our, our elbow local XFO map dot rotation. So let's just make sure that we have that first. Yep. And we want to do as previously, we want to get that as a vector. Yep. And now that we have that, we can now iterate over this. So basically we're going to want to go for X in this. And then on that X, we basically want to do this calculation. So we want to do math dot degrees X. So let's see that all works. Let's see what rotation values we end up with. 17 minus 30, yeah. That could be okay. Let's see. So what we can just do now is let's just do a quick commands set atter. And we can just do elbow dot join orient. Let's just set that to zero, zero, zero. Let's just make sure that that works fine. Yeah. And, oh. I'm really annoyed when Maya does that. So let's set the rotation values as well. So here we want to go to rotation zero. And uh, rotation two here. Oh, sorry. So if this works out nicely now, oh, sorry. Now we've got it back. We should now zero out our joint orient, but the arm should still be in the same spot. And boom. So that worked quite nicely. Now, as I mentioned, you know, you could still use the same idea and start introducing more matrices here if you want to add in more control. Right now, we're just setting it to the world space, but if you wanted to go the other way around, for instance, you could get all of the rotation values and make, get a new matrix that you're basically setting on the join orient, right? We, we could just switch these guys around if we did this now, and you'd see now we have all of these rotated like zero out, and we've switched that over here. So if you now wanted to have, for instance, um, specify some custom values on your joint orient, you could start um, adding in that as well so that you could take that into account with another matrix that you're multiplying in here. So that's something that I've done before, which can be very, very useful. Um, and in, in, in terms of uh, how you want to manage your skeletons as well, because it's something that I've often done where it's, I want to be able to specify a specific joint orient uh, while keeping the the rotation in space. So I just want to figure out like what, what rotate value that is. Cool. So I hope that uh, was a bit of like um, made sense. And uh, if you got any questions on that, let me know.